Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech, your right to repair guy, and welcome back to the channel. So, today I have this older iPhone 5C that is running on the latest iOS 10.3.3 or 10.3.4 that is currently available for these models. And this is the A6 device that includes iPhone 5C and iPhone 5. So, in this video, we will exactly see how we can bypass the iCloud activation lock screen on A6 devices that include iPhone 5 and iPhone 5C. iPad 4 generation also fall under A6 chipset but currently it is not supported with this tool but maybe in future there is more update they will add it later but for now iPhone 5 and 5C are supported and you can do the full bypass on the activation lock screen without signal but you will use some iServices. It is a factory activated method that is different from the sliver tool you may know from the older years that is available for older devices but also the good news is if you have a passcode or disable iPhone 5 and 5c you can do now the full untethered iCloud bypass with the calling support also that means the sim will also work on the passcode or disabled iPhone but for the activation lock screen only the untethered option is available but you can use the iServices and it is a factory activated method so it is more useful or more better from the older one that is only the S delete app method so we will see all the information in the later part this is just some information before we start the method all right first thing you need to arrange a macbook for this process or if you are a windows user you can install the hackintosh as the macbook is required because there are some libraries and ipon dfu32 that is only available for your mac next you will require these two tools one is the code breaker a6 package file and another one is the i4 tool both these tools are available on my blog you can just check out the video's description you will get on my blog and you can easily download it from here or you can visit the i4cn website and you can download the mac version from here or you can use the three tools on your windows but natively we are using the mac method so it is more easy you can use the i4 tools as three tools currently not available for your mac so this is the alternative tool it is same functionality like three tools but it is in the different language that is the chinese one but i will help you to understand the tool so that is not the issue so simply download both these files and install it on your system. Alright, both the tools is installed. Here is the look of the code breaker A6 activation tool and here is the i4 tool. Most of the viewers are already familiar with the i4 tools but still if you are the one who is not comfortable with the i4 tools, they can use the 3 tools but only available for your windows. So in the process you need to shift to your windows machine so that will be more difficult. So that's why we are using i4 tool so that we will get the seamless experience on your one system in the bypass process. Alright, now everything is set. Now for this video i have this iphone 5c that is on the activation lock screen so this tool can bypass the untethered without signal for the activation lock but if you have a passcode screen or disable screen you can do the complete bypass with the signal also that means your sim card will work but you need to be on the passcode or disable screen but if you have a activation lock screen device that only works without sim but you will still get the i services and the factory activation mark so it will be more better for you but in future i will make the separate dedicated video on the passcode disable bypass with signal but for this video i'm only focusing on the activation lock screen bypass now next connect the device if you are an activation lock connect in the normal mode and select the hello bypass and it will generate the factory activation ticket but if you have a passcode disable screen you need to connect in the dfu mode and then click on start so now you can see it start making the record and downloading the activation ticket from the server and you will see the folder will automatically pop up in that your ECID will be show and some activation record and you will see the message that code breaker was on this and this and you will get the activation record you need to open the 3u tools or i4 tools and copy this activation record folder in the download one so we will see that how we can do first let's check out the activation record folder you will get all the files including the plist ic config files and activation record plist that is important for the factory activation and you will get this folder on on your desktop with the name of activation record now next open the i4 tools and same you can do with the 3u tools the process is similar 
Now here you will see the different language but what you need to do is you need to select the files option. Next you need to go to the download directory from your device and just drag and drop your ECID folder that include your activation ticket into the device and same thing for the 3U tools. I will just display the short video so that you will get an idea how you can do it in the 3U tools and similar for the i4 tools. Alright now we have completed the first stage of the bypass to download the activation record and send it to the device. The second stage you need to put device into the DFU mode so that we can do the pawn DFU on it and after that we can inject the RAM disk and continue the process. So just put your device into the DFU mode and you can check out on the tool screen currently the device is in the unactivated stage that means it's on the activation lock. For DFU mode you need to press the power button and home button simultaneously for 8 to 10 seconds. After that release the power button and keep pressing the home button for next 6 to 8 seconds and you will see the DFU will be done. It is a complete black screen and the tool will also detect the DFU mode. Also the iTunes will also detect so you will get the indication. Next step you need to pawn DFU your device with the using of iPawn DFU 32. It is inbuilt in the device so you just need to click on the start and after that tool will start the process so just wait for it to get complete you can check the status on your device as well as on the tool The device will show the different color, in my case it's a purple screen. Now it start sending the RAM disk including the IBSS and IBSC files. So just wait for it to get complete. You will see the verbos booting on your device as well. Alright now the RAM disk has been sent to the device successfully and you will see the welcome to the iOS 9 SH RAM disk that means the SH port is open. So now we can connect with this device through this port number that is 4 times 2 but tool will do automatically everything. Now the bypass tool will activate the device through this activation record that we have generated and it is a completely factory activation method. This is different from the sliver tool that you have seen in the past because sliver tool delete the setup.app after you injecting the RAM disk but in this method the setup.app will not get deleted and it will do the factory activated through the activation record that you have generated before. So this is the difference between this method and the sliver tool. And the big advantage of this method over to the sliver tool method is that this method do not delete your baseband and this method is factory activated that means you can sync your device through the iTunes and also you can use the iServices including the iCloud login and in the setup.delete method that comes in the sliver tool in that the device will stay unactivated because the setup.app is deleted and you cannot use the iServices and the other stuff. Also this tool can support bypass with signal and sim for the passcode or disabled device so this is the easy and fast and more better method all right now the device is successfully activated and you will get the message on the tool another one you will get two option one is to delete baseband another one you can continue normally if you delete the baseband it may affect your battery life of your device and if you directly continue further it will not delete your baseband data and it will preserve that but a normal continue option you may see your device will prompt no sim card inserted option again and again to overcome that i will just show you a trick in a later part so i will just click on continue so now it's done now simply set up the device and you will see the location and service that means we are good also on the tool you will see the factory activated status is showing that means everything is good we have successfully bypassed the device and you are on the home screen And this is the unthreaded method with some i services working including your iCloud login. It's a factory activated bypass. So I will just reboot the device and show you the unthreaded is working. And sometimes uh, the bypass is uh, not so stable. You will see the activation required. And if you dismiss and again set up it and it will go directly to the home screen. So that's normal as it's a new tool and we have new exploit. So maybe there are some initial bugs but in the later updates maybe it will be fixed so just reboot the device and let me just show you it's working good all right after the reboot everything looks good the bypass is fully untethered let's try iServices 
including the iCloud login that will work but other iServices like FaceTime that will not work as the device is not fully activated it's uh, only factory activated but if you do the passcode or disable full bypass with signal in that the device will be fully activated and in that the FaceTime and other iServices everything will be work including your sim card so iCloud login is working you can use Siri also you can try App Store that will also work but FaceTime will not work in this method if you are on activation lock screen but if you are a passcode or disable screen that's different thing that will work in the full services all right now i have tested everything looks good that is promised in this bypass now if you remember in this starting i have mentioned that you will get prompt again and again that no sim card is inserted as you have selected the normal way that will preserve the baseband instead of deleting the baseband so to overcome the issue of that pop-up message to insert the sim card again and again you can put your device into the flight mode and use it as a wi-fi another option you can select that delete baseband option after the bypass is done but that may affect your battery life of your device and if you don't want to delete the baseband and still want to overcome that sim card issue you just need to insert a locked sim card that enable the sim pin whenever you insert you just need to enter the sim pin and after that your sim card will be read and you will not get any of that message again and again so you can follow these things and it will work for you so that is all for today's video session i hope you gain some knowledge and liking my content if yes just hit the like button and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel for more cool updates like this i will see you in another video so till then goodbye take care and peace out